Ain't you? Looking for cargo May here. well be. Move it along. What cargo y'all trying to move on out of here? Look, it's Boy, only food. You best be going. Yeah. Lamoine Raiders holding this road. I better get moving.
Time to go, boy.
boy.
please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shadows hey, all soon, I'll you there! Up. Hold up! Please. What the hell? One sick bastard. Now, nah, good lord! Just isn't your day, is it? Move! Enjoy the peace and quiet! Right where I'm gonna bury you. Someone help me!
Hey, mister. You do not belong here. We have nothing for you. Hello, mister. I want no business with you. There's no reason for his staying here. None of us have anything to say. Howdy, fellas. What are you here for? Ma'am? What are you here for? Hello. There is no place for you here. Hey there. I'm, I'm in no need of company.
now, tough guy. Come on now, don't do this. Shut up and do what I say. Any regrets? Okay, fella.
I could use some assistance gathering herbs for my studies. What are you looking for this time? I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. Those plants may take some searching, I'd get started. perhaps. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you.
Can I help you there? Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. in this town, and you're helping everybody, and everywhere. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family, a family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 
Five thousand. Five thousand? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these five thousand dollar horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fellow over there will run them out of state and give you fifty cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. to the Braithwaite's. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. $5,000 for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Anyway, leave that. We're getting close now. Careful, there's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. But... Head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Hey. All right, let's hitch up here. Slow up. Let me do the talking. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. 
There you go, boy. Uh-huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. Man. Man is on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy, easy. easy. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Hey, easy now. Easy. <laughs> Whoa, easy, easy. You okay? Whoa, easy. You're okay. Settle down, boy. Easy there. Easy, easy. It's okay. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here. I got the back. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being... I said stop these men! Stop!
Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you I can give you 654. Hey. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots.
Good work, Arthur. I bet them horses sure appreciate that. Come on, girl. Good work on that bank job. Hey, fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Sir, this way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks. <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. Get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep, yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Horns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Those here really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't they? Ah, he was giving his usual flannel. 
that his family's got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, what more for sticking to rich folks? I hate rich folks. They're really very so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Yep. about them greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and pack. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> You want, boy? I've, I've. There, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean, you no know, harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand. Some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business, eh? Uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Uh, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. 
Uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Ah! Come on, Arthur. What are you playing at? I was enjoying the monologue. I'm glad I'm not your brother. You are? Let's get on with this. I'm not the one who was dawdling. Okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was barb running down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Someone coming on the left. Uh, oh, hey. I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Train? So, what you got there? Dual? Payroll? Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Hero. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? We'll take care of this fella. Go on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble.
that should do it. That's good for here. There's someone coming on the left. Ha. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Harold. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. Meet me at the barn when you're done. Shine them fields up good, all right? Keep your head down. Over here, you got simple. Follow me for you, Egypt. I 
water. I thought you was down for the fields. There's someone coming on the left. Ha. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. <laughs> Meet me at the barn when you're done. Showing them fields up good, all right? Keep your head down.
Someone coming on the left. Ha. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Harold. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? We'll take care of this fella. Meet me at the barn when you're done. Shine them fields up good, all right? Keep your head down.
I'm gonna delve this too. Yourselves a fat cigar. I got the red head. Make your face. You're dead. No time for this. What do you mean, fella? You keep on.
turn into a right party. You call that a party? That break weight had got our money's worth, Arlie. Let's just get out of here first. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. <laughs> you coming? Sure. Tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. Arthur, Arthur. 